So shooters and reloaders, I know you're wondering, this happens to be a two foot long piece of bathroom tile or floor tile. And if you put a jug of cast bullets on the other end, this thing is very firm and stable and gives you extra room like an extension to your bench that you can use to better engage your reloading press. Handy little trick. Now as for the subject of blueprinting, as you are aware when you take your rifle to a gunsmith and you want that rifle blueprinted, what they do is they will use their machine and machining skills to create everything square, everything aligned, so that that is a blueprinted rifle. So you might ask, how does blueprinting apply to our reloading equipment, like our presses, dies, shell holders, even our cartridge cases? Well, in this video, hope to show you a way that you can constantly feedback, evaluate the alignment and blueprinting of your equipment. And you know how in a lot of reviews of presses that you see videos on, they say, well, this certain brand of press is really well aligned. It's uh, concentric and all this kind of thing, and we're paying big money for it. But they don't give you any way that you evaluate that. We're just going to take the word of the manufacturer and their advertising, right? and say, okay, this press has great concentricity and it is perfectly aligned, this kind of thing. Well, here's something that we can do just in our normal course of using our presses to evaluate how well aligned our presses are. This happens to be a Lee Custom Cast Press. It's a great press for the high value that it is. But the thinking is, well, can a less expensive press be as good in alignment as a more expensive press? Well, turns out that this loads great ammo, but would we use this press to do precision rifle? Now watch this. As that case goes into the die, does it go in without any kind of little sideways motion? Did you see that? Now let's get that case all the way into the shell holder and get it square. Get it so it's, set, it's settled. Now let's go again. There, you see that little, a little bit of correction at the end? There's a little misalignment there. Well, that doesn't cause any problem for our handgun ammo, but we wouldn't want that for our precision long range rifle. But let's be fair. If there's a misalignment, is it because maybe the die is misaligned? Is the shell holder misaligned? Or is it the ram being misaligned with the die thread opening. We have to figure out which one of these is the, is the culprit. So one way that we can do it, now I've already sized this one. Let's go ahead and prime that one. We'll get another case. We'll repeat that because maybe the case was misaligned. Maybe the case was cockeyed. So once again, get that all the way into the shell holder. Let it settle. There, it's settled. Now we go in. Now watch for any sideways deflection. Yep, there it is. A little bit of sideways deflection. Not much, but a little bit. Now, is the shell holder at fault? So we crank the shell holder over 180 degrees so that now it's the other way. If the shell holder is, is wrong, now it's going to deflect in the other direction. Ah, same deflection. So it's not the shell holder. Could it be the die? So let's loosen the die and crank it 180 degrees the other way. Now, if it deflects the other direction, it's the die that is not lined. Let's see what happens. Nope. Same deflection in that direction. Now, if the shell holder deflection test isn't good enough for you by just rotating the shell holder. Let's put another shell holder in. So we'll go ahead and switch these out and see if another shell holder will give us the same result. 
Uh-huh. That kind of tells you that this press has a little bit of misalignment of the die thread station with the ram. Now you can apply this same kind of thing to any press you have to see if you can evaluate that. And this came to my attention with my very first press, the Bear H press. After a while, the deflection was so bad that the case wouldn't even go into the die. It would bump into the... So I had to shove the case over to get it going in the die. That is not what we want. And that's why I got rid of... Well, that's why I stopped using that Bear H press. I still have that to hold my powder measure. But I wound up getting my RCBS rock chucker instead. Now, of course, you might ask, well, you have an RCBS rock chucker, don't you, Fortune Cookie? Well, what about that press? Well, so here you go again. Now, make sure that that is settled. Now, let's see if there's any deflection. There's deflection. Now, I'll rotate that die, as you saw. Uh, rather, I rotated the shell holder, as you saw. Now let's see if the deflection still happens. Same deflection. Now I'll rotate the die. There you go. Make sure it's settled in there. Did you see the whole case move? No. That looks like misalignment to me. And incidentally, if you look on YouTube videos, you'll see this kind of thing happen. Look at that. That won't even go in. There it goes. You'll see this kind of thing if you look closely on a lot of other YouTube videos. And in fact, if you see that the reloader is constantly having to gyrate the case mouth to get it to go into the die, that is really bad, like we just saw right there. Now I know what some of you out there are thinking, and that is, hey, that's not too bad though. If this thing can slide or correct itself by positioning of the, of the case in the shell holder, then it self-aligns, just like the Forrester coax. But if you think about it, that's not a sure thing. Suppose the deflection was in this direction, the case would not be able to slide in there or self-align. If it happens to slide right in this axis of the opening, then that could pop probably work. But you don't have any assurance that it's doing that. It could be in this direction or in that direction. And then you don't get any kind of self-aligning. Now my apologies to you if all this detail is a little boring. This does not mean that your RCBS rock chucker has the same thing, but you might check it out. This also doesn't mean that your Lee Custom Cast Press also has that little bit of misalignment but you could sure check it out. And this is the reason that I went from the RCBS rock chucker after all those years, mostly loading pistol ammo, this kind of thing that didn't matter that much, but I got into long range rifle and it was not acceptable. And the Lee custom cast press, the, even though the deflection is less, not acceptable. And that's why I wound up with the coax press. No issues with misalignment with the coax Press by Forrester and uh, happens to be on sale right now at Midway USA for like $40 less than when I paid for it. Take care out there, all you shooters and reloaders. Bye for now.